you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. So why you yourself you will not accept what your scholars and the companion and the family of Muhammad said about Muhammad? The filter is the Al Quran. If there is if there is uh, Al Hadith different or uh, or not uh, compatible with Quran, meaning that Hadith I don't believe. Okay, the Quran says you can do mutar rent women. The Hadith says you cannot do it no more. You said you follow the Quran only, which means you rent women, and your daughter she can rent her par her, her private part to anyone who wanna have sex with her. Do you accept that? Because the Quran order you to do muta. The Hadith says you don't do it no more. You said anything contradict the Quran, you will not accept it. Well, this is contradiction for the Quran. I said, uh, in any any hadith different or uh, not compatible with Quran, I don't believe it. Exactly, the Quran says you do muta. The hadith says don't do muta no more. Which one you talk? You take regarding the, regarding the muta. I will I will read because I'm not academic in the Quran. Uh, I'm okay. Not academic so in how the come hadith. how come you don't it, answer me right it, away? It, the, it, the, it, you do not need to read. I mean, this is a, this is your logic. You are the one who just said. If the Hadith says something against the Quran, we don't accept it. The Quran says you do muta. The Hadith says don't. Which one you follow? I will check what you say. Why, what do you mean you will check? If, you do not need to check. check. Either you say the Quran or you say the Hadith. Which one you follow? Number one, Quran. And okay, course, so you do muta. So thank you. So thank you. Follow. So you do muta. And what kind of religion allowing the followers and the girls of those religion to go and rent their private part for sex. Can you explain to us? Is that a religion of the devil? That your daughter or your sister would not respect your family? She can go and anyone he can offer her a bunch of dollars and she go and sleep with him doing sex for money? What kind of religion this religion is? I'm not going deep on that one topic just now. Regarding Why not? Why do you want to go deep? Why? I'm not, I'm not know everything regarding Quran. So, it's, it's in the Quran. I gave you the verse. I gave you the. I gave you the verse. I gave you the verse. And it's about muta. It, even even the word even the word is, the word muta. You claim that you speak Arabic. It's written there. Fama stamta tum bihi. Fama stamta tum bihi. Min hunna. Imagine how faithy the Quran. Stamta tum bihi. He, which means their vagina. So you have to pay them wages for enjoying it. The vagina. What kind of religion this religion is? I will check it. I, I mean, I'm not uh, now. I'm not focused on that. What you said? Okay, you are not focused. Okay, you know what? I am. I am. I, 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 I want to I, I give you. I want to give you a chance of something nice. Can you tell me something nice about your prophet? Oh, for example, our our prophet saying that we have to. Uh, do good things to their our parents because for example there is a hadith mm -hmm. saying that the, the the companion of the prophet saying asking the prophet what mm -hmm. is the who who will be who who is the people that we, we that we will obey and then and then the prophet said your mother and then mm -hmm. again your mother and then again your mother mm -hmm. and then your father that is one good thing for okay. example all right uh, now everybody will see how stupid you are a second ago you say, if something against the Quran, we would not take it. And you just mentioned to me a hadith. And you are the one who said you don't accept the hadith. And now I showed you, and I am the one who showed you, I showed you that, I showed you that the Quran said, if you, you cannot be a believer to a person who is your father or your parents, if he don't believe in Allah. So you say to me, lying that the prophet taught us to be nice to our parents but you did not say if they are muslims only but if they are not you will not find and we mentioned the verse already chapter 58 verse number 22 
That is uh, what the first that you saw me that using the words allow, right? I I will I will see. I have in what you what 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 so here we go. He cannot be good to his parents. <laughs> the verse saying that you cannot be loving to your parents if they are choose not to embrace Islam. Even if they are your parents or your brother or your sons or even your brothers from your from your tribe, which means physically relationship by blood. So I ask you to show me one nice thing about your prophet. You fail. Uh, forget about this. Give me another one. Nice thing about Muhammad. I've told you that I will check that ayat. Okay. That, let me ask you. Let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you. Uh, uh, what, what Islamic sect is yours? Once again? What Islamic sect is yours? I think Sunni. I think Sunni. You are what? You are Sunni. Sunni. Uh, not, not Shia. Not Shia, okay. Is it true that many Muslim Sunni sect, it is not haram, or let us say there's no punishment or penalty, if a man have sex with his mother or his daughter or his sister, and he knew they are his mother and his daughter and his sister? Is that true? What? There's no what penalty. Are you talking about? What is the punishment? What, what is the punishment I'm talking about? The, the question is simple. If somebody have sex with his mother or his daughter, what is the penalty according to Muslim Sunni for such a person? Is it true that the majority of the Muslim Sunni, the majority of the Muslim Sunni, they believe there's no punishment should be implemented for such a behavior? I mean, uh, people have sex to their mother. I think it is a prohibited land. Yeah. Okay, it's forbidden, but if somebody did that, is it true? Is it true that if you do such a thing, there is no punishment? Uh, it's, it should be there is a punishment in an Islamic country. It's there uh, should be there is a punishment. You see, you are a person, you said to me, you follow the Quran only. And that's weird now. You are saying you don't follow the Quran. Where in the Quran it says that if somebody has sex with his mother, there's a punishment. I will check. I will check. You will check again. Okay. So we will check. Okay. Forget. Okay. For, okay. Forget about this. Forget. Forget about this. Is it? Is it lawful? Is it lawful for a Muslim to have sex with his daughter from adultery? I don't believe. Don't believe it. Well, the Quran says so. I don't, I don't believe people can be have sex. Yes. Okay, let me yeah, ask you. I don't okay, let me ask you. If you have sex with a girlfriend, and then you have daughter from her, according to Islam, can she inherit the, her your your name, your last name, your daughter, from that woman? Not hear your voice well. You know what? Forget about this. Uh, let us go to something more, uh, easier for you. Uh, I want you to give me the most powerful thing to convert people into Islam of your choice, whatever you want. What, what, what do you want to me? Well, I want you to show me something powerful, something amazing about the. Uh, I don't know, Quran, Muhammad, something really good. I mean, look, we have a lot of people listening, even though this is not my time for podcast. Uh, can you show me something really powerful about Muhammad? Something amazing, like Quran, I don't know, scientists, scientific, uh, some discovery, anything, it's up here. What, what can make those people go crazy and hear it from you? I'm giving you a chance to convert them to Islam. Oh, you, you want me to uh, telling uh, something good regarding the Quran? Yeah, that, uh, something something amazing. And so people, they kind of, we see in the in the YouTube, Muslim, they say 10 amazing things in the Quran, amazing discovery in the Quran, whatever. I mean, show us something amazing so all those people will go crazy and they will share shahada right away. Do you have anything? 
I, I, I will start with the that, uh, Quran Quran inform that there is only one God. Okay. While, while okay. Christianity, which verse Christianity, in the Quran? Which verse in the Quran it says there's only one God? For example, in uh, Surah one one four, Al Ikhlas. One one four. It doesn't say that. It says Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. The word Ahad is not one. It's one yeah. of. You mean to say it is unity, you become one. No. No. This is. You see. Okay. The word Ahad is one of many. You cannot use the word Ahad. Yeah, you, you cannot use the word Ahad unless there is others beside the Ahad. If you type the word Ahad here in the search engine, you look with me in the screen. I just talk, type it. It appears in the search engine here 29 times. And it appears in yellow, which is very nice. All the Ahad is translated by Muslims as one of. Not a single one, except the last one, where it says, Qul huwa Allah Ahad. Suddenly the Muslim, they make it as Allah is one, but the fact Ahad, it doesn't mean that Ahad is one of. It's coming from the word Ikhad. So the Muslims, they fool themselves and they say Allah is one. Number two, you said the most amazing thing about Islam is worshiping one God. Well, Shaitan is one God too for many. There is many worship Shaitan is one. So there's many worship false deity and he's one. So. Can you prove to me that the one you worship is God? He's not one of those Satans? As an example, your prophet, he worship one God, but this God, we showed you, he ordered him to do muta. Women, they get paid for sex. He, he is the person who ordered his own prophet to go and have sex with her own son wife. He is the one who made the verses in the Quran, as we see in the chapter of Ahzab. Any Muslim woman, she want to give her private part to the Prophet, he can go and if her. So, what kind of one God, he make verses for the benefit of a penis of a Prophet? Do you think this is a God he work for his majesty penis? Or Muhammad he work for his God? Because if I am God and I have a Prophet, my Prophet will be busy worshipping me not busy taking girls to bed and he asked me to make verses saying any girl she want to give herself to the prophet so the prophet he can if her chapter 33 verse number 15 go ahead actually i'm sure i can answer your your questions one by one mm -hmm. focusly now mm -hmm. now i'm not focused because you are telling so many topics uh, okay forget and about the, uh, forget about all the topic uh, what kind of god he promised he's a prophet any muslim woman she can give herself the, the guy already have 13 wives why god need to make verses for him saying it is it is lawful for you all those girls and any women she give herself to the prophet what this is about I'm what? telling you that uh, regarding this muta and what you say just now. I'm not I talking will, about muta now. I'm not, I'm not uh, talking about muta. I'm, I'm not, not talking about. Deep. I'm not talking about muta. We change the topic. License for your prophet alone, only for Muhammad. Any Muslim woman she wanna open her legs for him, she's welcome. Why this verse is needed, and what this verse have to do with Islam and God? What kind of God? What what this religion is exactly is about? I mean, why Allah he go to his office? And he's writing a verse saying, any woman you want to have sex with her, she can offer herself to you, only to you, Muhammad. What is that is about? Why we need such a verse? I mean, what does verse accomplish for Islam? What is the point of it? How about, how about 700 wives for David? Well, God did not say to him, and David, he cried for God, asking for forgiveness. Who said to you that David was following God? Go and see how God, he condemned David. Even when he tried to build a temple, God, he said to him, don't build a temple for me. Your hands is full of blood. Here, we have your God making verses. David was acting as a king and he was filthy at that time. He was a sinner. He was a bad man. He was a garbage, actually. And you are comparing yourself to a person in that moment. He was a sinner and he was a garbage. Look at you. But David, the difference between him and your prophet, he did not say, God told me, go sleep around. He did not say, God gave me license to go and do my garbage and my sin. He cried for God, asking for forgiveness. But look here, you're a prophet making verses saying, 
any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can if her. Only a privilege for the Prophet. What does this have to do with God? Why these alliances is exist? I think we, we, if we speak, better focus. Lah. I don't know everything. We are focusing. You, you we are focusing. Topic, the I question is very simple. Me. You are so give me time. I'm giving you time. We are focusing. What this have to do with Islam? Why Allah? He need to make a verse. Say to me as a prophet. Let's say I am a prophet, and I have already thirteen wives and hundreds of sex slaves. Why I need a verse saying any believing woman she want to dictate herself to the prophet so he can if her. And this is only a privilege for the Prophet. Why the Prophet, he needs such a privilege? Why God and what kind of God, he makes such a license only for Muhammad? What do you think Allah trying to do here? Okay, give me, give me time several days. Okay, go ahead. Now, now I, I, want, I want to challenge you. You mm. challenge me, now I want to challenge you, okay? Mm. What? Do you want to answer? Ah, I, I want to ask you, are you Christian so, or Jesus follower? So you are you are you are going to answer? <clears throat> what what your question? I will I need several yeah, you are not days going, to answer. You are not going to I, answer. I'm not focus on that. That's why I will, why, why I you can't be focused? What kind of God? He make a license only about vagina only for Muhammad. I thought Islam is I, religion. I, I thought Islam I is religion. I thought Islam is religion for all mankind. But as you see, Islam have a special license for the special Muhammad about his penis. What does penis of Muhammad have to do with God in Islam? Okay, I got the question. Hmm. I said you, I will need several days to go deeply. So this okay. question needs several days? I mean, why is it so hard for you to need several days? I thought you are a genius. No. I, I, need, I need several days. La. You cannot force me. I need several days. <laughs> now my turn to ask you. Okay, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. My turn. My turn. Ah, okay, one question only. Mm. Are you Christian or Jesus follower? Uh, this is a very stupid question because the Bible says those who follow Jesus being called the Christians. So the second you call a person Christian, you are calling him, you are a follower of Jesus. And this is a very stupid question. Okay. Let me ask you the same question. You. Are you a follower of Muhammad, eh? Muhammad or you are a follower of Allah? Uh, this is, this is my turn to ask you. You already asked me a ton of questions. No, no problem. We are, we are in the topic. We are in the topic. You asked me the question about follower of Jesus or, or Christian. I answer you. You are a follower of Muhammad. You are wrong. You are a follower of Muhammad. You are a follower of Muhammad or Allah. And you can give me the answer about what I said. No problem. Where, where, where you make mistake from your answer? What? 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 Hello? Hello? What happened to this guy? Reconnecting. I, I did not hear you. I did not hear you. Go ahead. What you were saying? What you were saying? This is follower. You are, I, I'm, I'm saying clearly, you okay. are not Jesus follower. You are Christian. Hello, hello, hello. I am a Christian. Okay, what Christian mean? What, what is the name of Christian mean? I'm saying that you are you are a christian but you are not jesus follower okay are you just are you just different are you jesus you're follower different. are you jesus follower christian mean uh, like it is a bad signal i think <laughs> christian it is like you that uh, obey that all all they have the all rating while the jesus follower do not have all rating why all jesus Bulls followers no, not have all writing what, what what so for example the 12, the 12 disciple it is uh, jesus they are they are jesus follower not christian christian only after year of 50 after the first consul in jerusalem uh -huh. so you are the, you are christian not jesus follower yeah but you see you are, you are very stupid because the, uh, the bible written long before that cancel and it says that those who they are believers in jesus they are called the christians go to the book of acts and find in chapter 11 verse number 26 so you are stupid secondly the quran mentioned paul as a messenger of god as an example if we go to chapter 36 verse number 14 you will see the quran speaking about three messengers can you tell me who are they uh, 
that it is bullish, bullish, bullish. I don't believe it. That is bullish. Doesn't matter what you I believe. You can what, you give me? I can you it. give me the name? You are, you, are you are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. And actually, the Quran is copying the writing of, of of Paul. Paul, can you name for me one thing Paul he said is against God? Paul he it's said, Paul, Paul he said, gamblers will not go to heaven. You Quran copy the same exact verses of Paul. Those who drink, no. those that drunk, no, don't, don't, don't those who do gambling. Don't ask me. And uh, don't, I'm not don't asking you. Me. You are a coward. Prove to me that Paul is not the messenger of Jesus. Actually, if we go right now and read in Ibn Kathir, we will find that Paul was one of the disciples of Jesus, and he met Jesus in the way of Damascus, and Jesus made him blind. Is that true? This is written in your book. Hello? Hello? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? I want you to say yes or no. You are a liar or say this is true. Is it true? In the book of Ibn Kathir, it says that Paul was a messenger of... It, is it true? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you. I am. I am. I am. I'm not asking you. I want just a very simple yes or no. Is it true that Ibn Kathir said in his book, in many places, and I will show you other, other scholars, that Paul was a messenger of Jesus, and he was a decent man, and he became a Christian, after Jesus, he made him lose his vision, make him blind, and then he repented to Jesus, and he asked him to make him see again, and then he became a decent man, preaching the gospel. Is it true? It is true as per your book, but I don't believe. This is not my book, you idiot. Ibn Kathir is my book. It is Paul said in, in his writing. Shut up. I'm saying Ibn Kathir. Is Ibn Kathir my book? No, no, this is my turn to ask you. You already asked me a ton of questions. I, no, I am not, I'm not asking you. You are the one who opened the topic. We are discussing the topic. This is not a new topic. No, 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 is Ibn no, Kathir, no, you coward. No, you coward. No, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me make everybody, let me make everybody, let me make everybody, let me make everybody laugh at you. Can you show me one place the Quran says Paul is a bad person? Shut up, please hear me. Shut up, son of Muta. Shut up, son of Muta. Can you show me you are a person who said you follow the Quran only? How come the Quran never say Paul is a bad person? You already asked me 100 questions. I am not, I am not asking you. We are talking about Paul. We are discussing the topic. If Paul was bad, why? how come your prophet never mentioned Paul as a bad person? Why your prophet never mentioned Paul as a bad person? You only ask me. I will ask you. I'm not asking you no more. I'm not asking you no more. We are discussing the topic of Paul. You said I follow Paul. Listen, coward. Listen, coward. Listen, coward. Listen, coward. Son of Muta. Can you show me one verse Paul he said is again? Shut up. Shut up. You Muslims are a bunch of cowards. You Muslims are a bunch of cowards and you will not answer the question. Can you show me one verse Paul he said to be ashamed of it? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Coward. 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 Can you show me? Can you show me one verse will make Paul a bad person? Can you show me? You said I follow the teaching of Paul. Shut up. Coward. Son of son, son of Aisha, son, son of Aisha. I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you. I, you said you said I follow Paul. I you said shut up. You see the pain. You see the pain. It's your turn. It's your turn. Can you show me the verse will make Paul a bad person? You said I follow Paul. Do you have a proof? Do you have a proof that I follow? Do you have a proof that I follow Paul? Do you have a proof? Do you have a Shut up! Shut up! You accuse me, you accuse me, you accuse me of something, coward. You accuse me of something, can you prove it? That I follow Paul, not Jesus. Go ahead. Show me. Can you open the camera? Can you open the camera? I want to see your wife dancing. Is she dancing too? You are a coward. You are a coward. You and your wife is dancing and you are a coward. Show me where, prove to me how we are following Paul. I'm listening. Go ahead. Ah, what is the difference of 
Christ, Christian and Jesus follower. That is my question. I have only one question. You already I, asked I, one I, I answer, question. I answer you. You see, when I answer you, you I start talking. You said to me, you are not giving my time. And your wife start dancing, shaking her ass. Shame on you. Uh, so uh, I'm asking you now. You said you said you you are a Christian. You are a Christian. You are following Paul. You are not following Jesus. Approve it. Go ahead. Yeah, you ask me. What is the difference between Christian? I am not. I'm not asking you anything. Go ahead. You are making accusation. Finish it. You said I'm not following Jesus. Approve it. Go ahead. Yeah. Now I am asking you one question. What's wrong with you? Uh, Go ahead, prove the point. You did not finish. You said I'm not following Jesus. Prove it. Go ahead. The Jesus follower, Jesus follower, hmm. do not have Paul writing. Okay. If we take Paul writing away, is the teaching of John and Luke and Mark are different from Paul writing? Yes. It okay. Can be different. Pro prove it. Okay. No, okay. Go ahead. Prove. Guys. Guys. Yes. He said yes. Prove it. Go ahead. Now I am still looking for the Christian scholar. How is the Christian? You are a stupid donkey. Paul? Prove that Paul teaching is different from the, the gospel, the four gospels. Because in order to prove that I'm following Paul, not following Christ, then, and you are, you are the one who said that Paul teaching is different from the Bible teaching. Okay, show us where it says that. Go ahead. Google, sir. Go, no, I'm tired. Google Maybe boy. We'll talk again. What? Sorry, I will take some rest. What some rest? Where are you going? No, I want your wife to shake her ass and say, "Give me time. Give me time." Where are you going? You coward son of muta. So your wife should dance for me, shaking her ass for nothing. No, you need to finish it. Show me your coward son of muta. What you started? Where Paul teaching is different from the four gospel. Go ahead. You can open in the YouTube. No, what you two? Tell me, where is where is Paul teaching? If I follow, how if I follow Paul, I'm not following the gospel. Paul he says that God is the Messiah. John he says God is the Messiah. Luke he says God is the Messiah. Mark he says God is the Messiah. John he says the Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit. Mark he says the Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit. All of them they say the same. So how Paul teaching different teaching from the gospel? You cover son of Muta. Don't leave. You have to go. You have to. You have to get me busted. And I love it when your wife, she was sh shaking herself. Okay. She is doing pretty dancing for me. I'll, now you speak and speak. Please hear me. La. Don't you speak only. Well, I am asking, I am asking you to talk. You said you want to leave, you coward. You just said you want to leave. You see the coward? You are the one who just said you want to leave. You want to rest. Why you want to rest? Get me busted. You said this is my time to okay. get you busted. Okay, go ahead. Listen. Listen me. Listen me. Hmm. James said, James said that the people will be saved by the God. Uh, using the works, not only the faith. While Paul said, Paul said that uh, people can be saved by the God only by the faith. That is why Christian Christianity. Then the you are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. Both of them, they are saying the same because the Bible says in different places, faith without act is, is a dead faith. So look, 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 look. You, you are you are just a stupid idiot. When you say when you say without faith, Jesus. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Uh, can I answer you, please? Can I answer you? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. No, you you did. You coward. You did. You did the one you wanna go. You did. You just make a point. Let me answer you. Did Jesus say to the women, "Your faith save you"? I am not finished my work. That is why I'm I don't care if you finish or not. I'm asking you. Did Jesus say your faith? Your how how the teaching of Paul is different from the teaching of Jesus? You just quote for me. Paul saying something in total agreement with Jesus. Use your ear. Use your ear to to listen what I said. <laughs> Why you always interrupted me? Then you claim that you win the debate. Because, because, it is, it is no, I did not, I did not, I did not disturb you. You you said you want to go. This is what make me, uh, 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 like, I want to, I want to have fun. Listen, listen, listen and, just a minute. And, and let your wife stay there, please. Don't let her go. Okay. So now, what, what, what happened? What, what Paul, what make Paul not a Christian? Did he say that there is no God? Listen, why you only talk, talk, and talk? 
I never talk, you talk. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, okay, go, go. You talk, talk, talk. Okay, you booty. You in the debate. Why you okay, I it? can booty. Stop to see. The one who keeps saying every time I say to him, he said to me, I need to study it. Oh, I need to see it. Mouth, suddenly now, mouth, suddenly the one is complaining, I don't let him talk. How many times I ask you to talk and you don't want to talk? And now you don't want to talk. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. What make Paul, you are reading an article, you donkey. You don't even know what you are reading. It's not even you who understand what no, it's written there. So, okay, tell us, tell us what make Paul, tell us what make Paul not a Christian. Go ahead. I will, yeah, listen me for two minutes. Don't okay. only speak, 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 speak. Speak, 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 speak. Go ahead. And then you claim to okay. debate. Okay. This is the ethic of the debate. Okay, TikTok, go ahead. You, you have to improve your ethic debate. My friend, this this uh, this okay. recording will be all over the I internet. People will, will you, okay. will, will die laughing at you. People will die laughing at you. Go ahead. I will tell you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. That is why already five, five, five hundred years, Catholic and Protestant are confronted, confronted because mm -hmm. of this difference between James and Paul. You read the history. Don't only talk and talk. Read the history. Only yesterday in 1999 in Augsburg, Germany, they signed, they signed the agreement that the Protestant and Catholic will end the 500 years con contradiction. Okay, contradiction can, can I answer you? Can I answer you? You are a stupid monkey, son of Muta, because both, both, if we open the Bible of the Catholic and open the Bible of the, Orth of, of the Orthodox and the Bible of the Protestant, we will see the same verses and all of them, they agree upon it. So you are a stupid officially and you are a donkey. Because it exists, it exists, it exists, it exists in the books of the three Christian sect. And you are a liar and people are laughing at you. So you said to me, I follow Paul. And to prove me wrong, you said Paul spoke about faith, you stupid idiot. Jesus spoke about faith. A woman, she is not even a Christian. A, a woman, she is not even a Christian. A man who is next to him in the cross. Shut up, son of Mata. It's time. It's my time for answer now. You, 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 made, you laid out. You laid out your case. Is is that verse you caught for me? Let us let us make everybody laugh at you. Is the verse you caught for me? Is the verse you caught for me from Paul? Is it exist in the book of the Protestant? Is the verse you caught? Oh, shut up. Is the verse you quote for me exist in the book of the Protestant and the Catholic and the Orthodox? Yes or no? I'm not still waiting. <laughs> so how they are fighting for 500 years if all of them they believe in the same book? You eat a donkey. How you lie? How you lie? How you lie if the three of them they have the same verse in the same book? You are stupid. You are stupid. Okay, let us make it simple. You are stupid. Okay, let's see. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. What okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show the verses in the screen. Hold on, son of Muta. I'm going to show the verse in the screen, in the book of the Catholic, in the book of the Protestant, in the book of the Orthodox. And if they are there, it's mean you are a stupid liar. What do you think? Yeah. What? What, what do you mean? You said, you, you said the Catholic and the Protestant, they are fighting for 500 years about this verse, but it exists in their books. The, th the three Christian sect, the three Christian sect, they have the same verse and they believe in it in full. If, if you don't want to hear me, then it's bullshit. <laughs> I would hear you, you idiot. I just said to you, isn't it true that this verse exists in the book of the Protestant? You are a liar, son of Muta, like your prophet. Isn't it true that those people, the three of them, why you don't want to, why you don't want to confront me? Confront me. I'm saying to you, is it is that is that verse? Okay, can you tell me? Can you say again what verse we are reading? What we are talking about? What verse? Say it again. James. Okay. James said, hmm. uh, "People will be saved by God by the works, hmm. by faith and works." Okay. What or verse? What verse? What verse? What verse? What? what verse? What verse? What verse? What verse? I am not bringing my notes now. No, you have I to bring me your verse. You are you are getting me busted, you son of Muta. Give me the verse so we can laugh at you. No, yeah, yeah, because because you called me while I was in the. Will you coward? In the, How you caught for me the, something? No, why you don't want to give me the verse so we can laugh at you because we want to put it in the screen people either will laugh at me or they will laugh at you so what kind of a hero he bring his wife shaking his ass next to me and she say give him time give him time here we go she will do breastfeeding for me as your prophet order her and now you don't want to give me the verse number so what is the verse number of james and what is the verse number of paul he mentioned otherwise you have no point you're a coward give us both
You can, if you want to stop to search Google, can you ask your wife to sing, or your wife to sing for us, says, give him time, give him time, and shake, if you don't mind? I like it. I feel bored. Hello? See the cover? I don't even know what he's talking about. I mean, look and, and look what they are looking for. And this is supposed to will make like a, a Paul is a bad person. <laughs> Coward. Are you a follower of Paul or follower of Jesus? Hey, hello. He's looking in Google. Coward. What happened to you? <clears throat> I can help you. I can give you the verses if you want. I just wanted to be sure that you know what you are talking about, but obviously you are a scam. Come back, come back. I will give you the verse. I will help you, no problem. <laughs> Coward. Where are he going? He's gone? The Catholic and the Protestant, they were fighting for 500 years for this? For this. Hmm. And finally, they signed agreement. Hmm. Yeah. He will be back after he finishes uh, research. He's asking his wife to shake the computer. You see how they lie and how they fabricate? Both Paul and James, they are saying exactly the same thing. Actually, it's my fault. I did not I say to him, okay, what verses you are talking about? Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it true for sure.